This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Let's talk about uh, some some other moves happening down there at the PC. Meltzer would write: WWE officially announced Matt Bloom as the new head trainer of the Performance Center. He's been working in that role since the departure of Bill DeMott, and it's generally believed he was no longer interim. But the official change in promotion took place this past week. Uh, in addition, uh, Sarah Amato, formerly Sarah Del Rey, was named assistant head coach, which is promotion from assistant coach. She's essentially the number two trainer on the roster which is a real feather in her cap regarding work because, uh, she's both a woman in that role and put ahead of men who have far more experience in wrestling. And also because she herself never had a big time U S promotion experience. So let's talk about these two guys. These are the folks who are sort of the secret sauce of NXT that we've enjoyed the last five years. Matt Bloom, the former a train, the former Albert, uh, and Sarah Del Rey. Do you have any sort of relationship with those guys? And what can you tell us about them? Yeah, from a personal level, I love Baldo. I had the opportunity to be his producer when he was wrestling. And, you know, the guy was a monster, you know, and he still is a monster. I mean, he's just a big, rugged guy, but also a sweetheart. And uh, also with the knowledge that, I mean, he wasn't a high spot guy. He was a guy that, you know, was a nuts and bolts top guy that was just big and rugged and he could kick ass and get his ass kicked and very mobile for a guy that size, you know. Um, he was another guy that they started and stopped with uh, what was the Japanese gimmick that he had for a minute. Oh, yeah, yeah. A tensai or something like that. Yeah, never got a chance to get rolling. That was one of the another one of those deals where – Okay, let's change his look completely, change his, his name and all that stuff. Oh, he had one week. Uh, they weren't clamoring and coming out of the ceiling for him. Second week, okay, okay, three-week three, three week run is up. So you couldn't expect anything from that. Uh, he's another victim of one of those. But I think going back down to NXT, and I think he has a lot of patience because he's just a good human being, the guy that I know. And uh, he's great with those kids and does a good job. Now, I know I was only around Sarah for a short time when she got pulled up to the main roster. I think she was much more comfortable not being in that role, being back at NXT. Uh, it's a lot of pressure when you put those headsets on and you sit down up there and, and Vince is two seats away and you got to call a match with the truck and and make sure that you stay ahead of everything and everything you say is clear and you're talking sound bites and uh, you're, you're way ahead of when things are supposed to happen and all that. I mean, there's a lot that goes on to being a producer other than just going out in the afternoon and suggesting things. And I think that kind of pressure she wasn't ready for and she made a smart move by going back down and uh, helping the kids. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.